Hello, this is Dr. Benjamin Dome from the American Hip Institute in Chicago presenting on Dunn View Alpha Angle uh, is more useful than femoral head neck offset to predict acetabular cartilage damage in patients with FAI undergoing hip arthroscopy. My disclosures are listed with the American Academy of Orthopedic Surgeons. By way of background, previous studies have demonstrated a direct correlation between severity of CAM deformity and intraarticular damage. Identification of the magnitude and location of the CAM deformity is essential for preoperative planning of the femoroplasty. Considering the alpha angle and femoral head neck offset represent different geometrical aspects of the CAM deformity, it is important to clarify which correlates better with intraarticular damage. The alpha angle versus offset measurements are shown here. This is the alpha angle measurement and the offset uh, is measured here. The purpose of this study was to identify predictive factors uh, uh, for acetabular cartilage damage in patients with FAI, specifically looking at the predictive value of alpha angle versus offset in determining the preoperative likelihood and severity of acetabular cartilage damage. We looked at patients who had surgery between 08 and 2020, including primary hip arthroscopies for symptomatic labral tears due to FAI. 14 variables were assessed in bivariate comparison and analyzed in a multivariate logistic regression model. The acetabular labrum articular disruption, or ALAD, as well as the outer bridge classifications were used to define acetabular cartilage defects. Patients without damage or those with mild acetabular cartilage damage belonged to ALAD slash outer bridge two or less, and those with severe damage belonged to grades three or more. Femoroplasty was performed with a combination of arthroscopic and fluoroscopic guidance. This was typically done through a longitudinal uh, interportal capsulotomy, typically not done with a T-capsulotomy, and often using retraction stitches in the capsule such that the capsule could be preserved throughout the course of the femoroplasty. And the aim of femoroplasties was to perform a perfectly spherical femoroplasty. A total of 1,485 patients were analyzed, including 1,038 patients with uh, ALAD or outer bridge two or less and 447 patients with higher grade ALAD or outer bridge. There was a greater proportion of males in the higher grades of cartilage damage than in the lower grades. The multivariate logistic regression uh, selected age, sex, anterior center edge angle, uh, and uh, alpha angle. The results are shown here. And what we found was that there was a significance for ischial spine sign, crossover sign, alpha angle, and femoral head neck offset, as well as acetabular inclination in determining the or predicting the cartilage defects. Every additional degree of alpha angle was associated with a 6% increase in the odds of severe acetabular cartilage damage. The multivariate regression analysis did not identify femoral head neck offset as a predictor. The odds of severe acetabular cartilage damage were 3.73 times higher in males than females. Higher age was also found to increase the likelihood of higher grades of cartilage damage. Here we see the predictors and odds ratios. Uh, the age per log 10 unit, uh, uh, the sex uh, and the alpha angle per degree uh, all produced significant predictive uh, p-values. In conclusion, in a multivariate analysis, factors identified as preoperative predictors of acetabular cartilage damage in patients with FAI were age, sex, anterior center edge angle, and alpha angle. The femoral head and neck offset, interestingly, was not predictive, suggesting that the done view alpha angle may take precedence over the offset as a predictor of acetabular cartilage damage. Thank you very much.